first edition of Fifth Quarter. Hi, I'm Michael Cadwell. And I'm Austin Smith. It's a new era here on Fifth Quarter, and we've got an action-packed show for you. We're going to go ahead and set it right into Tiger Volleyball, and Lee Summit has a star in their hands with Claire Wagner. Let's take a look at Tiger Volleyball with reporter Clayton Couch. The Tigers look to continue their hot streak against the Blue Springs Wildcats. The Tigers would start off strong after a pass from Taylor Stout to Claire Wagner to send it home. Now the Tigers would go on offense to try to score another point, and after a nice pass back from the Wildcats, the Tigers would clean up the mess. Serenity Partridge would look to continue the scoring streak for the Tigers, but the Wildcats would have none of it as they spiked it back. The Tigers would look to take set one, and they would do just that after Claire Wagner sends it over the net. On to set two, where Claire Wagner and Taylor Stout would show tremendous teamwork to run up the score 13-9. The Tigers would spike the nail in the coffin as they win 25 to 21. Signing off for Tiger Broadcast. This is Clayton Couch. Volleyball is under the first year direction of Coach Lori Hannaway. Reporters Gavin Curlis, Cam Brigham, and Kirsten Rue dig in with Coach Hannaway. I think she's a hardworking lady, and uh, she loves the game of volleyball. She is so willing to talk to you about whatever, and whether it's about anything personal. Whatever it may be, she's more than willing to talk to you and sit down with you and um, help you through it. Each year we welcome new people into our school, but this year we welcome a new coach to the Tiger Tribe. I knew what I was stepping into in terms of what the former coach was like, what the athletic director, the administration, and all those things were really inviting. So uh, it's been a really nice transition so far. Not only has this been a smooth transition for Hanaway, but the players are also seeing an improvement in the team. We had a really poor season last year and has just changed so many things. Coach Hannaway has a history of very strong fundamentals. Um, I'm a big believer in defense and uh, she does a great job of, of teaching the defensive and the offensive side of the game, obviously. It's clear to see that her strong resume was one thing that made her a viable candidate. Well, the big one, you know, um, eight state championships. Um, seven at O'Hare and one at St. Teresa's and then at least at West we finished twice uh, in second place as the state championship runner-up. It wasn't only her success that drew the players in but her bright personality and coaching style stood out to them as well. With this because she's very hands-on with us and is very trying to be into our personal lives and um, be supportive of us in every aspect of our lives. Coach Hannaway seems to be um, a, a bigger personality in the game. Coach Hannaway has been doing a great job connecting it's with clear the girls, that Hannaway's and everyone is excited is one of the things that caught for Thompson's eye. So I hope to see um, coaches that, that focus on getting to know the kids, helping them grow as individuals, not just as athletes. You know, our, our really our primary goal is to get better every day. We as a team have already grown so much this year, and I think she's done a really, really good job. Hannaway's confidence for her team has set high expectations for the rest of the season. I hope that we have a winning season um, and that we can go back to districts and win again. Hopefully make it to, um, you know, state. Every game that we win is an improvement from last year. I'm excited about how they've started out the season and I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the season has to bring, especially the postseason. I love, I love high school sports playoffs. Our school and faculty are not the only ones who have high expectations for this team. I think uh, we, we could do a lot of good things, and I think we already have. But we want to be a great team and that we're good teammates, we're coachable, we represent Lee Summit High School well. Signing out for Tiger Broadcast, I'm Cameron Brigham. The cross-country community has awaited the arrival of Luke Byrne, and he surely has arrived. Luke placed ninth at the Chris Salzburg Invitational and then fifth at the Stan Nelson Invitational. As a team, the Tigers took fourth at Stan Nelson. Lane Brenneman and Damian Cunningham are shortly behind Luke, placing 23rd and 24th at Stan Nelson. On the girls' side of things, it was Reagan Hubbard placed 26th at Ray Peck. We are now joined by uh, sophomore Luke Byrne. And uh, Luke, coming in as a sophomore, with only having two races, where should we expect you to be in the future? I'm hoping this year at least to make it to state, and then next year possibly medal, and my senior year possibly get top five. Yeah, and with the team that you have this year, how important is it to put together a good year this year? We have an amazing team this year, so we need to try our hardest and get maybe to state as a team. 
All right, and uh, you made the decision to join cross country this year. Uh, talk about that decision. Um, cross country just gives you a feeling that, you know, no other sport can, and just felt like where I belonged. All right, thank you for uh, joining us, Luke. Uh, now we're going to take a look at Boys Cross Country with reporter Braden Weeks. Boys Cross Country competed in the Chris Salzburg invite hosted by Lee Summit North on September 2nd. The gun would fire, starting a promising season for the Tigers. Luke Byrne and Lane Brenneman would start off excellently in 3rd and 10th place. Byrne would stay strong, only dropping to 6th place, with Brenneman not too far behind. Damian Cunningham would catch up towards the end of the race. Luke would finish first for the Tigers and snag 9th place with the time of 17.27. Coach Heaney would look on as Cunningham across the line at 16th place with the time of 17.54. Tigers would come in 5th overall to finish the meet. Football moves their record to 2-3 and three as they are on a two-game winning streak after winning the homecoming game last Friday versus Olathe South. Tigers are building on their season with sophomore quarterback Darius Pearsall at the helm. Let's take a look now into Tiger football. The Tigers come into this homecoming matchup versus Olathe South after their first win last week. After a slow start on the first drive, the Tigers bounce back as Preston Whitworth throws a touchdown pass to Mitchell Tensley. The defense would make their fair share of plays as they would get a fourth and one stop here. Back on the offensive side, Darius Pearsoff throws a dump pass to Spencer Parker who would take it all the way for a 45 yard touchdown. Olathe South would answer scoring to take a 15 to 14 lead going into half. The defense would be big in the second half as Victor Hosteller gets a vicious sack here. The defense would not allow a single point in the second half. The defense would pick up points for themselves as the Al Cassidy gets a pick six. The Tigers would go on to win this one 28-15. They improve their record to 2-3 and three as they pick up a big win over Olathe South in the homecoming game. Boys soccer has a 4-1 in-conference record, and they are looking to make a big push come district time behind junior Keenan Johnson. Let's kick it in to some Tiger soccer. Starting off the fierce game between the Leafs and the High School Tigers and the Ray Peck Panthers. The Panthers fought their way through the Tigers' tough defense to put them up 1-0 over the Tigers. However, scoring themselves a yellow card along the way before the end of the half. Hope is alive as both teams held together to encourage themselves to do better in the later half. Ray Peck went on to score another goal as tension grew in the last half. Keen Johnson would find his way to give the Tigers our only goal in the game as the Panthers went on to score another goal, bringing a sad loss to the Tigers 3-1. Signing off for the fifth quarter, I'm Jeff Livingston here with Kyle Creason. Thank you for watching this edition of Fifth Quarter. For sports packages and more, go to www.tigerbroadcast.com. And for live streams, go to www.tigerbroadcast.net. Follow us on Twitter at SportsTVTV8. Signing out for fifth quarter, I'm Austin Smith, and I'm Michael Cattle. We'll see you next time.